It's you. I remember you. I was purging some living beings that had been tainted by the demonic. It would appear that I have caused you some trouble. Huh? He isn't usually this polite. What's going on? But you are exercising demons! How is that causing trouble? That is because the changes that occurred in these monsters stem from me. Or more precisely, from the karma I have accumulated. Mutations? Karma? Oh, does that mean... Yeah! Paimon remembers that Xiao is also called the Vigilant Yaksha, isn't he? So... So that means... Oh. Poor Xiao! <laughs> I see. You must mean that piece of literati fan fiction from a few hundred years ago. <laughs> All things are impermanent, and to exist is to suffer. We Yakshas have no need of sympathy or tears. My comrades who have passed on would see your tears as a stain upon their legacy. Oh, uh, I'm unsorry. It matters not. In any case, I am on my way to purge a cavern of demonic influence, so we shall part ways here. Wait! Take us with you! We'll be a big help! Paimon promises! No need. I am used to fighting alone. And in any case, these mutations originated from me to begin with. Well then... Oh! Consider it Paimon's parents for being accidentally rude just now! Please? Well, I... Uh, come on, then. Um, so, Xiao, you've been suffering from the bad karma all this time? <clears throat> suffering is my price to pay for eons of endless slaughter. I have come to accept this. But in recent years, other living things have suffered when the burden should be mine alone to bear. I must reflect on this. Oh, this place gives Paimon goosebumps. I will use the ritual known as the Bane of All Evil to relieve this place of its karma. You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. Snatcher. <laughs> I am aware of no adeptus by such a name. So he is a fraud! Well, wow. 
continue this discussion later. You should focus on your battle for now. It is good that we came here. An unusual number of living things had fallen under infernal influence. Had we not arrived in good time, the consequences would have been unthinkable. Now, this Star Snatcher you speak of, what is the situation? Ooh, Paimon will tell you. An Adeptus who grants wishes. To think that people could be so easily deceived by such blatant lies. As an Adeptus, do you have the power to grant wishes, Xiao? The Liyue of yesteryear would never ask the Adepti for boons unearned. Millennia ago, the ancestral people of Liyue asked for nothing more than the strength to defend the land they called their home. Uh, to be honest, an Adepti who grants people's wishes is probably more appealing to people nowadays. However feeble people nowadays may be, they are not my concern. I concern myself only with following Rex Lapis's original decree. Oops, Hyman spoke without thinking again. Oh, uh, one more thing? That fake Adeptus has a sigil of permission. It's what he uses to exercise demons. Wait, truly? <laughs> Fool. Exercising demons without exterminating them. It is no wonder they have been congregating here. If this continues, things may spiral out of even my control. We must confiscate his sigil of permission. Great minds think alike! Paimon agrees. We've got to show that trickster what you get for trying to fool us. And it just so happens that we've got a real Adeptus with us too. If Xiao were to teach Star Snatcher a lesson, you can bet he'll Never dare to pose as an Adeptus ever again! No. I only slay demons. I do not kill mortals. Who said anything about killing him? <laughs> it would certainly benefit Liyue if we could convince him to cease his wicked ways. I possess an art called Dream Trawler. It is normally used to separate the soul from the body, that one might cultivate oneself in a waking dream but it can also be used to call forth the spirits of others. Whoa, now that's a real Adepti art for ya. A ritual must be performed for this art to be used. Assist me in gathering a few items. A sensor, seven lamps, and something to reduce the temperature. Reduce the temperature? Oh, some mist flowers will probably do, right? But as for the sensor and the seven lamps, hmm, probably not the kinds of things are gonna just stumble across in the wild. Do you know of the two Yaksha statues that stand guard beside a merchant road on the southern face of Mount Tianhong? The ancestors of the people of Liyue built shrines there to honor the Yakshas. You should still be able to find some ceremonial items there. Once you have found them, 
Meet me at the Yaksha statues after nightfall, and I will teach you how to use this art.